What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Super String and we got another character spotlight on our hands, man. Why? Because why not? We got another A rank to get through, man. We know it's next on the docket. We did Agite yesterday and you know, SSAS, SSA, you know how the recess rhymes go around here, bro. We got Spelta Soldier on the list. This is the goofiest looking man, which is exactly why I built him as a matter of fact. He look weird. He definitely gives me very gimp vibes. And I, you know, he, you do you, King. You do you. Uh, more like uh, Lord, like Lord Farquaad. But, you know, height aside, man, this dude reaches new heights with what he brings to the table. Very niche. But as we start getting farther and farther in PvP, in the different content, stuff like that, the flex picks are going to be the difference maker between finishing content and not. The flex picks are going to be the difference maker in winning a fight or not. And only bringing a single core team is going to make you fall behind as you blindly follow metas and people start evolving around the metas. You know what I mean? You need the flex picks. And you need the understanding of what they do, especially if you're going against them, so you don't get caught off guard. Now, Spelt's a soldier here is a pretty nutty unit, man. He has a very specific goal in mind, but he does bring one layer under the single dimension. He's two-dimensional, man. And his second dimension is actually pretty slick. Now, I have a very strange build on him. I will talk builds, of course, as we always do. But with no further ado, what does Spelta Soldier do? Well, this guy right here, you may not be aware. I do have his EX weapon of all things. I actually have his uh, both uh, EX cores, as a matter of fact. That's part of why I built him as well, and I don't regret it, as a matter of fact. We're starting out with his skill one, Ion Shot. Deal 100% damage to an enemy. Oh my god, it's so overpowered, bro. I'm just playing. But skill number two, Overcharge Beam. Deal Pierce Damage by 130% to an enemy, which ignores 20% of target's defense. This makes him very desirable against tanky teams. You see a lot of sustained teams, at least I do. A lot of these like healers and tanks and like maybe a DPS character, if that, if they're not just rocking out with Mr. Mega Man Kang Hyun. But you're gonna see a lot of tanky people. You're at least gonna see a tank. And if you don't, you're gonna see a sustain unit, a defense buffer. This is going to get you through a lot of problems, help you do enough damage, and it is every other turn, which means you can pop this whenever the heck you feel like, basically, which is some pretty nice stuff. Now we got Quantum Barrier over here, three turn cooldown at level one. I might skill this dude up, as a matter of fact. I'm thinking about it, man. I gotta, you know, these skill ups are hard to come by, man. They're hard to come by, but what does Quantum Barrier do? This is his second dimension I was talking about before we get back to his single dimension. We got an ally is granted with a shield effect for two turns pretty nice stuff that is 15 percent of his max hp as a shield which is why you're seeing one hp set over here just to give some use to it i want that shield to do something you know what i mean but also increases the target's turn meter which will mm, go up by 25 percent that's a nasty little tidbit right there he boosts someone's turn meter by 25 percent now if you didn't know you can turn cycle in this game it doesn't go round one fight round two fight round three and everyone takes one turn you can skip people's turn with turn cycling with speed ups and with increasing turn meters so this is one way to do that. This is one way to get someone going a little bit before they should go. Maybe skip out on somebody that wanted to go first. It really helps you pick who's going to go, who's not going to go, who's going to get a health shield, and you're also going to get yourself a defense boost when you use this every three turns, which is pretty nice. Not the most consistent in PvP, just because you can probably only use this once, maybe twice before the fight's over, but... If you get this off a second time before the fight's over, you just got someone 50% of their turn meter filled up by the end of the fight, 30% of that max HP shield, uh, two turn defense boost on yourself for four turns total. It's pretty nice, man. It's pretty usable. That three turn cooldown is very enticing, but over here on his ultimate, deal pierce two. Yeah, that's right. He ignores 30% of target's defense. That's some dirty stuff right there. 170% uh, damage is also very enticing. So this is a massive nuke. Sincerely, 170% damage. We've seen it. It's always crazy, especially on a DPS unit. But paired with a 30% target defense ignore, that's actually pretty disgusting. That means tanks, what tanks? You know what I mean? And I'm going to show that off in combat right now. So we're over here in PvP as we are known to do and we're going against this fool and seeing what's good, man. So I will show off builds at the end of this fight as we're known to do, but first, 
let's show off what the man can bring to the table in a little bit of a live setting you know what i'm saying i was trying to figure out where i wanted to use him the most he's crazy in raids i'll say that right now he's really nice in raids he's He's pretty clutch if you're going to put him in campaign. I would put him on whatever team you're planning on hitting the bosses on. You feel me? Uh, if you're if you're planning on hitting that final boss with that squad, uh, that's where he goes because that's really where he shines. He's a crazy boss killer, and he's also a crazy tank killer. He's a crazy support killer, and ignoring defense on a DPS character is just true damage at the end of the day. You know what I mean? He's, just, he's a hammer. He's like that one target needs to die. I can do that. You know what I mean? That's exactly what he brings to the table. Let's get our drone out, make sure we're doing some dirty stuff once we come around. And this man's gonna come out with the Phoenix Shot of Doom. It's all good. Uh, who's he hitting up? My tank, no big deal. Everyone is currently taunted. So my tank, he's gonna be taking some heat, man. It's what he's here for. The return fire is always good. Now, who do we hit with this? Well, we can show off exactly what it does on a support character. So let's go ahead and do that. Ranger Cannon comes out. He does his Power Ranger Dance. The big single target shot comes out. The big instant crit. And he's almost dead already. So this girl's gonna bring him back. But like, did you see the damage that came out just now? Now it's time to actually go ham. This dude's out of here. We ain't concerned about him. Uh, big damage comes out. Uh, we're gonna cleanse that buff off him as well for the turret shot to take him out. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit this dude up get out of this little fight right here it is what it is man uh is that's what he can do for you he can cripple a team instantly whoever you want dead is who he kills as simple as that uh if you want someone dead he kills them if you're dealing with a tank he kills them i don't know what to say other than that man he he's just such a hammer he's like an unfair hammer and i think that's what's just the best part about him just you you can't sleep on the damage you know what i'm saying did we even need to do anything else let's go ahead and hit this dude up with this a big damage it didn't kill it didn't even crit which sucks but oh well man oh well we're out of here we saw the one shot come down on a level 65 66 whatever the case was dude's nasty uh if we run into a tank we do the exact same thing no big deal um it, you know it, it's played by ear which target do you need to do more damage to a tank or you know if you're taunted go ahead and ult if you are taunted by a tank i would say consider just boosting someone else up like using your team boost and wait but he will break that tank you know what i'm saying it just comes down to what you need to do if you're going against a sustained team dirty if you're going against a dps team you might just be able to one shot their dps characters so you know it's kind of a very flexibility but his entire goal is to kill somebody that's it he's the search and destroyer as far as the builds go um i would strongly suggest uh, this build right here it's pretty dirty uh, i do need better stats on it i'm not sitting at the highest critical damage is the problem here uh 87 like you saw i didn't crit on the second shot i need over 100 crit rate on this i don't care about his speed whatsoever i can keep him safe easily i think you're missing out on too many stats going speed on him that's just my take if you want to run him specifically for his skill three i think there's way better turn cyclers out there if that's all you're using him for now, as far as this right here, crit damage, big stuff on a crit rate, crit damage, big stuff on a crit rate, attack power, big stuff when you don't have an attack set on someone like this. I don't want to go full crit damage. I, I need some attack power. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the attack power stat, it isn't all that crazy without it. Imagine that without the attack power. Uh, it would be pretty lame. The crits wouldn't be hitting as hard as they need to. The one shot wouldn't have been there. The HP keeps the shield up. I love it. Crit damage keeps the crits hitting harder. Crit rate helps me crit. How would I change this up? Well, the only thing I would really do is I would go ahead, if I got enough uh, substats for attack power percentage, I'd go ahead and get rid of this because it's very easy to get this on substats. I just don't really have enough of it. I'd get rid of this and I'd put crit rate on it. Simple as that. Uh, or, uh, hold on, hold on. I'd put crit damage on it. Now, the other way you can really go with that is you can actually turn this into a crit rate set and put an HP set there. Uh, a crit rate set and HP main stat and you're looking good to go uh, turn this to HP you're solid and get rid of this to a crit rate that'll really boost your chance to crit make sure your substats are there you want to be 100% crit rate or higher you want a lot of you want enough attack to make the crit damage you're building matter and that's what he does he's very one-dimensional he's very search and destroy and if you can't search and destroy someone that turn Go ahead and stall your turn by using your skill three get someone else to go and bam you're good to go that's it for this one guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it go ahead and click that like button man but you know me only if you really liked it and if you vibe with me then subscribe with me i got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace hands down thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out